In this video, I want to take a look at FedEx stock for a short term play on either call or put options. I'll be going in very in-depth video on you know what to expect. I want to go over the cycle uh, psychology of the ascending triangle. We have a nice gap. We also have Christmas coming up, which is a hot time for Black Friday Christmas shopping, which is definitely going to be a watch for shipping companies as well as corporations in general. So I'll be going in very in-depth. I'll be also be taking a look at the SPY, all those levels. It'll be a very in-depth video. Um, I'll be going over the options that I am looking at potentially for calls, stop loss, price target, and it is definitely going to be a very nice video so make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a like if you guys want more content like this i'll be uploading another video tomorrow update on our tesla short okay because again i'm shorting tesla stock and i want to go over amazon and meta earnings in tomorrow's video so let's get started with fedex so make sure you have trading view pulled up so you can kind of see the chart itself so if you kind of zoom out and see the overall trend for fedex it has been down okay we have been plummeting and not only that we have also had some horrendous earnings for FedEx especially our last earnings you know the CEO said something about kind of like a recession and really having FedEx a impact um, from the recession now this is very important because the whole trend is to the downside right now and if we take a look at the stock now we have a consolidation period where the stock has been trading flat and sideways since September 19th so what this means is when a stock is trading sideways we are getting ready for a move and we can play off whichever side it breaks out to so i want to go over that philosophy in this video because again this is kind of like the strategy we, we always use you know on my channel and on all of my videos so first of all um you know we take a look at fedex and we see we have a level of support which is making higher highs or higher lows i mean so we have these lows and you know we're going higher and higher and we are bouncing off of this level of support this is a bullish indication because now we are for the short term we are you know switching from the downtrend and now we are looking to go up now again this could just be a relief rally and and it could it could go back down but we you know know that we are making higher lows and this is very important on top of that again this is our level of support where price keeps um you know bouncing off of this level of support and then we also have a very nice level of resistance and this level of resistance is the 160 dollar mark which is also a psychological number so if you're new to my channel one thing to really understand is that we all play off psychologically and human behavior stocks in general when you're trading it is all human behavior even just take a look at the thumbnails okay when you're taking a look at thumbnails which thumbnail you know looks more appealing which thumbnail looks bearish which thumbnail looks bullish and once we take a look at the chart that is really how you know we can play it off because it is all psych psychology at the end of the day now let's take a look at the price targets the entry and what i am watching now typically ascending triangle which this is the pattern right now okay this is a ascending triangle is a bullish pattern our uh stop loss would be below this level so if you want to play calls our stop loss would be 153 because this is our level of support if we go below and if we break this level of support we are bearish so this is very important to understand this level of support go to trainerv.com and please chart this out below this area we are bearish so i'm going to mark this out red now this is going to be you know if you're below this level we are bearish and we are if we're above this level which is 160 dollars so that is easy to remember it is mentally just a good even number okay so 160 dollars above 160 dollars we are bullish to the upside and our price target is going to be around 165 dollars which is going to be 
our price target. So I'm going to color this yellow. So I hope you're going to tradingview.com. Make sure to use my link in the description. Going over the chart and taking a look at what I am seeing because then you're not just copying me and trading off of me because you know you're buying FedEx stocks because I bought it now you have the power you're kind of understanding the psychology of the markets and you're understanding it and you know doing it yourself so this is really you know very very simple now we can also play puts but I'm not gonna do that because since this is a ascending triangle, um, you know, you can play puts to the downside. So if we break this level, you know, we have more room to the downside. You can do that. Um, but, I, you know, you can do that. And but overall, I'm taking a look at calls. And I'm taking a look at calls because we also have December coming up, which is a a high you know, really good holiday for Black Friday shopping, Cyber Cyber Monday. Um, we have Christmas coming up, Thanksgiving coming up, and that is a very nice catalyst. Um, now, I had a play on Macy's, which I made a video on. So this was on the top stocks for October. Okay, so I made this video two weeks ago on Macy's. And if you take a look at Macy's, it's, it's doing great. I haven't made any updated video on Macy's, but this is really the power of my videos, okay? You saw Macy's, if you played this, congrats. I know a lot of people who did play and they're playing me in the chat. But, you know, Christmas is coming up for Macy's and we are going to get at least some potential run for Christmas stocks. And that is the catalyst that I'm looking looking at. And on top of that, we have earnings coming up um, for FedEx. Now, pretty much that is really it. We also do have a gap. So psychologically, we have a gap here. I've talked about gaps in our Netflix video. In fact, Netflix broke that level and is just, you know, reaching and filling this gap, which I made a video on Netflix and Netflix earnings. So, you know, we're seeing potentially the same thing with FedEx. Now, let's take a look at the options calculator. So I'm taking a look at a month out calls. I'm still unsure. You know, again, things kind of change. Um, I haven't entered in any position for FedEx yet, but I'm looking at potentially a month out calls. And, you know, calls, some calls are expensive, like around 700 bucks. Some calls are pretty affordable. Um, you can also, also do a call debit spread, but I'm taking a look at the chart. I'm loving a month out call. And since my price target is $165, that's around a 50% gain and lowest 30% gain at expiration. So I'm also kind of loving the risk um, to reward with um, FedEx. Now, as well as for entry, because I've not entered in yet, um, you know, potentially looking to enter if the market, you know, starts going down tomorrow. So I'm looking to enter at this trend line at this level of support. I'm looking to have this entry because, you know, if we have this entry, this is going to be a great entry because our stop loss is going to be below this level. So our stop loss, you know, if you guys don't know what a stop loss is, if you know you're bullish on the stock and if it keeps going going down it keeps going down when are you going to sell it for a loss before it potentially goes to zero so especially for a contract so our stop loss is going to be the close below 152 but for our entry i want to buy in at this level of support so i hope the market kind of drops tomorrow and i hope i can play a potential calls on FedEx and grab them tomorrow. Now, overall, that is it. Very, very simple video on FedEx, you know. And again, you know, um, I make a lot of videos. Um, I make a lot of setups. Some setups I don't even talk about after they just go up. You know, we had FedEx and Macy's. Um, but, you know, you take a look at UPS. UPS had a very similar setup. I made a video on UPS a while ago. It had a massive run up to the upside. But again, you know, technical analysis is a really, really cool thing. But more importantly, are you understanding what, you know, I'm teaching? And it's really important that you kind of see it and do it yourself. So overall, hope you guys enjoyed this um, 
video I actually had to talk about spy I completely forgot about that but let's talk about spy now um, I was gonna actually make a whole separate video on this but a quick um, update on spy so I'm, I'm gonna be watching spy and FedEx together now again spy top 500 stocks in the stock market but we could see we have a resistance around 386 we have a support around 374 dollars so we are kind of in this consolidation period again you know same thing as I talked about FedEx in the start of the video the market trades off of these consolidation periods we trade sideways and then we break out or break down now again go to trainingview.com and copy my levels there are a lot of interesting levels for the spy but again we have the stop loss for FedEx overall hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys later see you guys tomorrow and bye bye